Welcome my beautiful Aries. Here is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the month of August 2021. Each one of these piles, these four piles, signifies each week of the month of August with clarification cards and energy cards to tie up this reading. So starting off in the very beginning, your first week of August, the energy that you will be seeing or you could be seeing that you're bringing forward is you're going to feel liberated. You're going to feel as though you have been given a second chance. A second chance at something in your life. It could be a relationship. It could be your career. It could be freedom. This is a judgment call. And maybe some of you have been dealing with a legal issue in the courts. And now you're going to be able to see that you can move forward. It's almost as though you've been manifesting and meditating and praying for something to come into fruition. And you're going to see it happen. You're going to be wanting to give thanks and be, feel grateful for uh, the beginning of of this month you you know you fought a long hard fight here i think with the we have the mountain card here and that means you know you had choices you could go through the mountain or around it and i think a lot of you have been struggling with obstacles and you know you've been struggling with uh you know difficulties to move forward towards uh, a goal that you've been wanting to see come to fruition. I think though so, now you're at a point uh, this this week where coming into the month of August where you're going to be able to uh, take care of yourself and your personal needs now. You might have had to put your personal needs on the back burner while you were dealing with something here where you felt restricted, where you felt you couldn't go forward, but now a judgment call has come in and now you've taken a fair assessment of what was in your life and now you've decided, you know what, I'm taking a brand new direction. I'm going towards what it is I want to make my happiness come into come into play for me. And you're going to be nurturing yourself here. I truly believe with this Queen of Cups, you're taking care of yourself. Some of you may have a water sign in your life that's very close to you. And perhaps they could be a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio. Um, you're, you realize that they're there to help uh, you to lean into them to for, for you to land it's a soft fall for you to be around this energy and i think they've always been there to care and nurture you as well some of you may feel the need that you're going to have to uh, be communicating with your family on a very uh, personal and a very important profound level. Uh, you could be sitting and carrying on some major discussions with somebody, communicating with them and, and discussing perhaps this new direction, perhaps this new beginning that you either want them to be with you or you're pulling away from something. But I do think the beginning of the month you're going to see freedom, you're going to feel liberation, you're going to feel gratefulness, you're going to feel abundance, abundant and, and you're going to be able to move forward freely now. Uh, taking care of your Yourself is essential for the beginning of this month and know that there still will be obstacles for you to, to overcome here barriers for you to get through but like I said you can t you can maneuver yourself around those barriers rather than trying to go through them which is you know a struggle none of us can go through a mountain uh, you know it seems unsurpassable and surmountable so I think you're going to be Having deep conversations with yourself at the beginning of the month, Aries, and deciding how you're going to make this new beginning happen for you. Beautiful. Your second week, you have the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Pentacles, and you have the cross here in the church window. Um, I think a lot of you perhaps have been dealing with trials and tribulations and sorrow and disappointments and sadness and grieving, but... I always say to you, when I see this cross card, it shows the sun shining behind it through the windows of the church. And this means you're healing through a situation or you may be going through a process of trying to heal through something that left you feeling disappointed, left you feeling, uh, you know, that you were in a grieving position. But you're getting through this and you're going to get through this and the sun's going to come out again and you're going to heal through a situation. So whatever that situation is, know that you're going to come out ahead. I think as far as finance, go you're doing very well although I have said this before about you uh, Aries you tend to sometimes overindulge and become a workaholic you're driven you're driven to to get ahead you're, you drive yourself uh, you know so hard when it comes to your career a lot of you but in the the end result does come out here uh, all that hard work and effort all those blood sweat and tears all the uh, investment that you put into your career you put into something here 
is going to pay off. Now, some of you may have actually, you may still be waiting for something. You may be waiting to hear for something. Maybe there's an offer, a proposal. Some of you may have put out a resume. Maybe you put in an application for something and you're waiting. Well, it's needless worry. Don't worry while you're waiting because you're going to hear and it's going to come out in your favor. You've planted your seeds well. And you know, I always tell everybody, you know, we don't plant a seed and expect to have a uh, harvest the next day. Uh, there's many things that, you know, are coming into play here in order for that, that seed to come to germination and fruition and harvest time. There could be uh, some situations here maybe you know whatever you put out there is at the in the middle of the pile or at the bottom of the pile and they just haven't got to it yet um, so don't worry yourself needlessly because you're going to find out whatever you've been doing you've stood in your integrity you've stood in your truth you planted your seeds well for something to come in and you're going to see it will come in in your favor because the ten of pentacles says so you're going to be much happier you're going to be more stable financially and you're going to be happier within your personal and home life as well I think you're going to be pretty stable in that department. Your material needs and your comforts there are going to be all right too. For some of you that feel that your home life isn't going to be secure in me anymore, you know, don't doubt that, okay? Because I do see that your your home life will be peaceful. It won't be, uh, it won't be, you don't need to worry about it. It's strong and secure and peaceful. Um, I think that, you know, you're going to be involved in a community of people who you are strongly related to. And I had talked about that here earlier in the beginning of the week where you're going to be communicating with people, people on a heart level, people around you uh, that want to be on this part of, uh, of your journey. And, you know, this is all about happiness. Some of you could be inheriting something. You could be getting some money or some inheritance, some, some item from somebody. And I think, you know, you're going to see the tens are always completion, the ends of situations. So I think your struggles here that you've had, either whether it's been in your home life relationships or your financial part of your life, the material part of your life, is definitely going to pick up and improve here. You're, you're going to be able to move through here much easier. Um, now, coming in with your third week, you have the Justice card. We talked about the Judgment. You have the Page of Cups and you have the cage and key card so you know we talked about a judgment call being made and you getting liberation and you having the freedom to go forward now you know this is rebirth this is uh, this is getting a second chance at something uh, that you, you you haven't been able to have and now you're giving thanks for that justice is maybe you know uh, justice was swayed in your favor here maybe you were dealing with something on a legal issue and you know all that communication all that waiting now pays off and everything that you did here right pays off here so justice is going to be served and it's going to be waived in your favor I think you're going to see it fair okay this is you know we see the scales here and they're even nobody's getting more than the other uh, in this situation and it's almost like they said it's they just showed me something being thrown out. So maybe something got thrown out here. Maybe your case gets thrown out. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe somebody just says, okay, you can have it. Or somebody says, okay, you win uh, in this in this situation. But I do think justice is going to be served, especially if you are dealing with legal issues. And it will work out in your favor. You're going to be happy with this. I think there might be some compromise involved uh, with this justice card as well, whether some of you are dealing with uh, someone else, uh, you know, opposing you here, wanting to fight you for the tea towels, etc. Uh, you know, that's just a theoretical example. Don't take that personally or, you know, take it literally. But I do think that, you know, it's going to be fair because I said compromise comes into play here and you're going to be quite happy with that. You're going to be very pleased with that. The page of cups shows up and the page of cups is somebody or something, energy of a youthful energy that comes in uh, and you know it could be a distraction but it could be somebody coming in uh, again another water sign uh, that could be coming forward and they're young at heart and they make you feel young and you you may be wanting to uh, take this relationship to the next level maybe this individual is young at heart looks younger is younger um, and they're going to bring out that beautiful joy in you uh, at this time they they could be coming in uh it could be a youth you could be dealing with somebody who is a youth 
uh, uh, that could be a water sign that you uh, that you're going to be sitting down and communicating with. For others, if there's someone new coming in towards you and they are younger than you, ignore any of the criticism or the opinions of other people. This is your journey. They may just be a temporary distraction as well because you know the cup has a fish in it, and the first sign of danger, that fish is gone. I mean, it just it's gone. Um, so it could be a short-lived distraction that some of you might be going through. For others, I think you're just tapping in and taking a relationship to the next level that brings you joy and happiness and makes you feel young at heart. Um, for others, you know, we have we have that feeling of, of, you know, as I said, taking this relationship to the next level. It could be somebody, they're telling me it could be somebody who you, for some of you, uh, who you didn't expect would step forward uh, and be there for you. Uh, and again, they could come forward with appreciation, respect, affection, um, you know, and love. Now, below that, you have the key and the cage, and this means that you hold the key to make this happen. You hold the key to make yourself happy. You hold the key to go towards your goals here, and all you have to do is reach in there and, and grab it. For You know, I think some of you, it could be a romance. It could be a relationship here with somebody, and because the rose sits in this cage, and we all know that the red rose is a sign of love, and when we receive that red rose, it is appreciation, affection, respect, and love for us when it's given to us and gifted to us. But the bottom line here is you have the key. You have the key to open this cage and go for what you want this week. And I think you're, you know, with this with this freedom here of having the resources now with the justice card and someone here who cares for you to go and walk this part of the journey with you, you're free now to go where you want to go and do what you want to do. So this is complete freedom. I love it. Your fourth week, your final week coming in is the Knight of Wands and you have the eight of pentacles and you have the tower now looking at this i think you're going to be able to see that you're going to be able to beat to your own drum you're going to be able to go forward you're going to be able to feel liberated and do what it is you want to do now the knight of wands comes in very fast though and it could be something that comes in very very quickly and it's going to require your immediate and full attention okay because time's of the essence and it's it's important uh, to avoid making any rash decisions at this time but whatever it is coming in you're going to have to pay attention to it something's going to happen fast here um, and you know I think that you're moving forward I think that you're going to be able to uh, you know find out uh, that you're moving in a different direction. Some of you could be actually literally traveling. Maybe you're traveling uh, for business. Maybe you're moving. You're relocating. You're traveling, you know, for personal reasons. Um, and, because I do see change of residence coming in here as well. And it'll be a sudden move. It's almost as though, bang, you're out that door and going in a new direction. Beautiful. The Eight of Pentacles says you're very focused and you're going to continue. We have the Seven of Pentacles and I said you're driven for work and here you are. But you're perfecting your craft. You're working on your, your legacy. You're trying to build up that bank account. You're trying to get those accounts in. You're trying to keep busy at your place of employment. Some of you could be uh, adding to your resume by taking an online course or going back to school to get your degree or a credit or even maybe a new form, a new interest of something. Maybe you're going to take on a passive income. Maybe you got this side gig uh, that you're working on on the side because you don't want to be left in the lurch because here is that tower and the tower I read this in, <clears throat> I read this in uh, you know in the tower moment in as tarot representation the the you know I do think that you're going to be able to rebuild a build a foundation here Aries and I think that you're going to be moving forward here whatever happens suddenly here has made you realize that you want to be more focused on your profession uh, and and be able to have the resources to make yourself happy and move forward. Something's happening very quickly. And I do think that you're moving forward very quickly, both with the tower, rebuilding a foundation here, moving in a new direction. And you are working hard to build up that bank account. You are working hard on your craft, on your career. And that's great. And like I said, some of you might be realizing that, you know what, I need a secondary job or a passive income, or I want to do that multi-level marketing on the side, or I want to be able to invest in something and watch it grow whatever the case is for each of you uh, whatever that is I do believe that you know by keeping yourself focused here working on your craft working on your gifts working on your on your goals and working on your career you will see the ten of Pentacles energy come into you this month so crossing the board here you know you, you you made a judgment call you know you planted your seeds well justice came through in your favor and now you've got liberation to move forward 
quickly. You know, the Queen of Cups, nurturing yourself to the point where you realize your goals are going to come to fruition here, both in your personal life and your financial life. And, you know, sharing those gifts with those you care about and continuing to stay focused on that goal. Yes, you will have obstacles and mountains to climb here that will seem sur unsurmountable to you, but you're going to work that out. You're going to process that. One thing about you, Aries, is you plan your moves. You cross your T's, you dot your I's. You don't jump into anything with, until you think 100% about it. You don't, you're you not the type of person that likes to look over your shoulder, and I get that. You will be healing through some sort of loss, some sort of disappointment here, but you have the key to make your happiness happen again, and I think you're going to do that. And you're building a foundation here to go in a brand new direction beautiful now let's see what you need to surrender to apparently you need to surrender to the belief of scarcity okay so let's see what that says here okay the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance in this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams so i think for a long time you have had this worry you've had worries about uh you know where you're going to go who you're going to be with some of you and also about your financial security but give it up okay don't don't continue to obsess and, and worry anymore. Uh, open up to uh, the infinite uh, ability that you have the key here. And I see you working on your happiness here. I see you working on some of you, it's relationships. Others, I think it's your financial part of your life. And maybe some of you, it's both. But stop worrying and give up that belief of scarcity because you're going to be able to see fruition coming in here this month. Beautiful. And, and, you know, the liberation and freedom to go forward for what you want and your goals. Now, your romance card says, give your romance a chance, okay? So, working on your partnerships. So, for, you know, this could be partnerships in love. It could be partnerships in, in, uh, in business. But I think a lot of you, it has to do with working on a relationship that's very important to you. Nurturing a relationship here and wanting to see it improve, wanting to have stability and strength and, 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 ha and have, it a, have it strong. And I do see that here with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, and, you know, the only way our relationships work is if we put the effort into them. It isn't a one-sided thing. We all, we both have to sit down and and uh, want to work on this relationship. Uh, if you haven't been doing that as of late, I think you're going to step up and you're going to do that. You're going to work on a partnership, and you know, giving your relationship a chance and wanting to see it grow and wanting to see it improve and wanting to see the strength come in again beautiful well my beautiful aries this is your reading for the month of august i hope some of it resonates with you thank you for all the thumbs up thank you so much for your beautiful comments and thank you for subscribing and hitting the bell button and i'll see you next month always remember to play safe stay safe and be safe